Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with BC Bros. And today I'm gonna show you how to install a SATA SSD and how to allocate it afterwards so you can use it. So let's get started, shall we? So there's two different types of SSDs. There is SATA SSDs that look like this, and then there are NVMe SSDs that look like this. There's also SATA SSDs that have this style. So for this video, I'm gonna teach you how to install a SATA SSD. Now, if you want to learn how to install an NVMe SSD, I do have a video on that, and I will put it up here. The link will be down below. Before installing the SSD, we have to locate the SATA ports on your your PC on your motherboard. For some motherboards, the SATA ports will be at the bottom or the side. That's usually where you will find them. And your GPU might be in the way. I'll show you how to take that out to make it easier to install the SATA. Now, SATA SSDs are great for budget builds like this because usually cases will have little places to rest the SSD. On higher end PCs with fans everywhere, it makes it harder to use a SATA SSD. And then at that point, you probably have a motherboard that supports a super fast NVMe, and I'd recommend that. But if, if you have a budget build that looks similar to this, or a mid-range build, I would recommend installing a SATA SSD. The other great thing about SATA SSDs is they are very inexpensive right now. So you can get a terabyte and even two that will last you quite a bit. And it's an easy upgrade for your PC. Start off by grabbing a Phillips screwdriver and we are going to remove the GPU just to make it easier to install that SSD. So I'm gonna start off by taking the screw here. I'm just going to loosen it. You don't need to unscrew all the way. And then you can pull this little part back and there's usually one or two screws holding that GPU in place. So we are going to remove those two. And now the GPU is just kind of resting there. Locate the little lever on the slot and push it in. And now you can pull the GPU out very gently and you can keep this plugged in if you want. I'm just going to rest the GPU down right here. And then you're going to pull the PCIe cable off by just holding down and wiggling. Now carefully place your GPU to the side and then we can locate the ports. Now these two are the SATA ports available for this motherboard. These actually are doubled up. So there's actually four here and they're angled, which is gonna make it easy to hide that cable and feed it through in the back here. Remove the side panel so we can get into the side here. As far as where to put the SSD, there's a couple options with this case, but if you wanna get real creative, you could put it in the basement with some adhesive on the bottom here and then just put it in the basement if you want. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it right here because then you can feed the cable this way and it'll come up and connect and the cable through the power supply can just come up this way. This comes down to preference and how your cable management is going to work and it will be slightly different for each case. Again, if you have a more budget or mid-range build, they'll have SSD, sometimes they'll be labeled and you'll see SSD on the side here, sometimes they'll be here. But I'm kind of feeling just putting it right here and that makes it easy for you to get the screws on the other side too. Again, that comes down to preference, so it'll be the same no matter where you put it. So on the SATA, SSD, there are two cables you're going to need. These usually come with the motherboard. You get an angular one and then a straight one. Use whatever you think is best for your situation. And then on your power supply, you are going to want to use the SATA that comes with that. Usually they come all together like this and you just pick whatever one makes the most sense is closer and best for the cable management. There are four screw holes. We are going to need screws that look like this. These are the same screws that you would use for your motherboard. And then I am going to place the SSD with the ports facing down. That way the cables are gonna be cleaner. And then on the other side, I'm gonna line up the holes and then start a screw. Just gonna get my screwdriver ready and line it up. Now be careful when screwing these in because if you screw it in too tight, sometimes it will break off on the SSD. I've had that happen before, you do not want that. All right, now I'm going to put a screw in on the other side. So there's one on each corner. You really only need two screws to keep it secure. You can do four if you want, whatever you're feeling and whatever you think would look best for your situation. Okay, now we are go going to grab the smaller cable. Actually, I'm gonna go with the angled one. I think that will work better. We are going to go one side in the back here. 
want to push it into here the click and then the rest gets fed through here and we will plug that into the smaller port and then you plug in the other one from the power supply right next to it that can only go one way as well and now we will put the back plate back on don't forget about the side screws and then we are going to need the gpu in so line it up on that port that it was in before and make sure it's fully lined up and inside before adding pressure and then pushing it in until you hear a click and then put that back in and then the two GPU screws. Well, you successfully installed the SSD, but you can't quite use it yet. We have to plug this in and then log on to the PC, and then I'll show you what to do from there to allocate it so you can be able to use it. So here is how you're going to allocate the SSD. We're gonna go down to the search and we're gonna type in disk management. This will show all of the storage devices that you have in your PC. And if you notice on the top here, this one has the black bar on the top, which means it is not ready to use. So we are going to right click here on that right box that says disk zero. And now it says the disk is online. And then we are gonna right click here on that right side and then do new simple volume. Click next and then next again. Again, again, we don't really want to touch any of this except for this part where you're going to assign the storage a letter. You can choose any one you want and then click finish. And now it should say healthy, new simple volume. And to double check and make sure it did work correctly, type in task manager on the search bar and then click performance. You should see the new storage device here. Let me know in the comments if this helped you out and I'll see you in the next one.